Oh, welcome back everyone to another episode here taking a look at some of the blueprints that I found on the Steam Workshop page this week. Our first piece here was made by Poison Milk. It's called Magic India Zoo and currently has about 10 different animal habitats that your visitors can visit. Uh, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. I love hearing from all you guys. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do consider doing so. Uh, thank you so much, Poison Milk, for this really, really wonderful build. You have a really great eye for building and also for lighting.
Our next piece was made by Zenerix. They call this a South American exhibit. You bring this into your zoo for right around $110,000. What a really, really beautiful South American exhibit building this is. Thank you so much for building it and bringing it to the STEAM community. You really did a great job. Our next piece is a post-apocalyptic terrarium made by Kingdom. You bring this into your zoo for right around $43,000. A really great build you've done here, Kingdom. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. MD Kevitt has made a dream catcher with four shop shells. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $5,000. I thought this was such a clever little idea. Thank you so much for bringing this to the Steam Workshop. Rahastara has made Mermaid 2. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $5,000. A really, really beautiful piece this is. It must have taken you hours to sculpt this out. Thank you so much for bringing it to the Steam Workshop. Our next piece is called Bluebird a Staff Set. It was made by Felis. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $18,000. did a really really great job on all of these pieces thank you so much for sharing them with us we have a classic dutch vivarium made here by fiorana 
You can bring this in Chusu for right around $74,000. A very, very nice build this is. Thank you so much for sharing it with everyone on the Steam community. We have a Dell Sheep Habitat made here by Maya the Cheese Girl. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $22,000. This is a perfect habitat for Dal sheep. I think they would be a, so comfortable here. They would feel just like they really were at home. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. We have a Little Friends Terrarium Interactive made here by Who's That Chris? You can bring this into your zoo for right around $27,000. What a really, really beautiful build this is. Thank you so much for building this and bringing it to everyone on the Planet Zoo Steam Workshop page. Lucas070 has made us a two climbing frames. This first one is called Orangutan Climbing Frame. And then we have the Rope Adventure Course. You can bring both of these into your zoo for right around $10,000. These are two really, really great building frames. Thank you so much for sharing them with us. Well, next we have McCarthy's Ark. It was made by McCarthy. You can bring this into your zoo for right around What a great build this is and such an original idea. I love how you've tucked all of those terrariums inside of this ark. Thank you so much for bringing it to the Steam Workshop page. YouTuber Harabro has made Hill Church by Harabro. The link to his page is up in the right top right hand corner. You can bring this church into your zoo for right around $121,000. What a really beautiful build this is. Thank you so much, Harabro, for bringing it to the STEAM community. 
A blubber has made military school. You can bring this into your zoo for right around eighteen thousand dollars. What a great idea this is. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Chief Burning Socks is at it again. He's made us another waterfall. He called this waterfall scenery number three. You can bring this into your zoo for at around $15,000. You certainly know how to make really, really beautiful waterfalls. Thank you so much for sharing all of your work with us in the STEAM community. Oh, we have two climbing frames here done both by Stoppable Sand. You can bring both of these into your zoo for right around one and a half thousand dollars. Two really great builds that you guys could, I mean, you could just put these right smack into your habitats and they'd go perfectly. They just look so natural. Thank you so much for sharing these with us. The Insider has made Ying Yang Panda House. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $34,000. What a really, really nice villa that you've made here for uh, your pandas. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. You did a great job. El Bastador has made a huge Cayman Swamp Habitat. Bring this into your zoo for right around $55,000. This habitat is absolutely perfect. It is so natural and so realistic looking. Thank you so much for bringing this to the Steam Workshop page. Now we have another piece here done by Poison Milk. It's called Chinese Way Horses Station. Bring this into your zoo for right around $80,000. You have a really great eye for building. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Our last piece is called The Cartoon Zoo, and it was made by Ling Tactic. This is a recreation of Cartoon Zoo from Putt Putt Saves the Zoo, the 1995 kids game from the Humorous Entertainment. It contains a jungle, arctic, and grassland area, as well as many different entrance areas.
love your car town zoo thank you so much link tactic for uh, posting this and sharing it with all of us i hope you guys have all enjoyed this week's episode we sure have a lot of great creators posting in the steam community you guys all take it easy and i'll see you back next week <laughs>